Hospitals around the region have experienced medical job shortages due to COVID-19. And with a special program at a local school, more students will be filling in those gaps in hospitals. 13 WREX's Shannon Taylor visited Rasmussen College today to learn more about this program and how it will bring more jobs. Shannon, what would you learn? If you ever watched Grace Anatomy and heard the surgeon asking for medical equipment from the person right in front of them, well, that's the surgical technologist, a key element in any surgery. Today, I got to speak with a student who's currently training at the university who says she plans to expand her knowledge through her training. Um, we're like the power behind the mask, if you will say. And now 14 students will soon become those vital instruments in healthcare through surgical technologist training under the guidance of Dr. Kendall Woods at Rasmussen University in Rockford. So I really want my students to be able to take that serious. I want them to know that they have to be flexible, they have to be accountable, they have to be a team member, they have to have good communication skills, you know, um, they have to be empathetic to their patient's need. And the 21-month rigorous program offers 14 months of residential ground training and practical rotations along with mock trial surgical procedures that help build skills and supply job opportunities after they graduate. The hospitals are constantly calling me, asking me how many more students do you have, how many are graduating, what's coming through, what can we take, because they're trying they're trying to like look for their next employee as quickly as possible. So we have a 100% employment rate. Student trainee Audra White works labor and delivery at OSF and explains that with more training, she can become a bigger asset in healthcare. Now, like being here, I understand why and like the importance of checking everything and the importance of sterility and the difference between being sterile and being aseptic. It's just shown me a lot of like why, why like theory, how it works, if that makes sense. Yeah, like the cushion. I want to hold it exactly like I'm holding it because they're going to hold the liver up. White is now nine months into the program, but understands the strain of having less technologists put in hospitals, but she says she is excited to learn more. This is definitely something, these are people's lives, like this is something you need to go to school for and you need to know what you're doing, like to be, like to have the right to be there, I don't know, and I've grown like more passionate about that too, especially where I come from with my work, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's just the importance of like, understanding how important this job is and that it's like an honor to be able to do this and to help people. After the program, students will earn an associate in, in degree in science and can work at any hospital in the state line. Now, if you're interested in joining that program, the college is currently accepting applications until October. Derek, back to you. All right.